Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer Handmade Soaps and today I am making another holiday soap. I'm not sure if I've made a video of this soap before but I do think so. It was using the one mold, it was in a different format. Uh, I'm remaking it for you guys today. It's the O Christmas tree. So welcome to my workshop. We're gonna take a look at how the soap is made. The colorants that I'm gonna be using today that are in this soap um, are some, it's a combination of two reds by Nurture Soap Supplies. And then I have some green, it's jade green mica and white titanium dioxide also by Nurture Soap Supplies. And you can find all of the links in the description box from this video. In my stock pot, I have some rice bran oil and extra virgin olive oil because I want a slow trace. I also have extra virgin coconut oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter by Baraka Shea Butter. My fragrance oil is already in my stock pot. Uh, Santa Sprouse is a beautiful fragrance. It does not accelerate trace and gives me plenty of time to make my Christmas tree swirls. I'm gonna split my soap batter to color it. So, okay, so now I'm gonna put my white in a clockwise motion to make an in the pot swirl. Time to pour. To finish up this soap beautifully and cheerfully, I'm gonna make a faux Taiwan swirl. So a true Taiwan swirl would be swirled throughout the soap, like all the way down to the bottom, but I'm just swirling the top with this technique. So uh, this is not something I created. Many people have been using the Taiwan swirl for years.
that's it for today. I'm going to cover my soap to insulate it and let it saponify until tomorrow and we will be back to cut it. Time to cut the soap. They have been there for about 18 hours and we will slice them and reveal the design inside. Are you ready to see the cut? I am. I have a full tray, put the date and the name of the soap so we know when it is ready. Thank you so much for watching the making of our own Christmas tree um, called Processed Soap. It's a very fun soap to make. I enjoy making it every year. It makes me in the holiday spirit. I hope it makes you feel cheerful as well. I think this holiday season soap would be a great gift. It's always a great gift, but with all the hand washing that is going around, definitely handmade soap is a gentler choice for your hands. Uh, don't forget to check the description box as I also leave information for crafters and makers. And um, maybe you've seen in my previous videos, but we have a brand new Facebook group called Makers Collab. It is, uh, it was made for makers of all kinds, soap, cosmetics, candles, uh, home products. So make sure to check that out. And if you want to join, we will happily welcome you aboard. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And I will see you guys again very soon.